crafting your vintage Halloween, the folklore traditions and <coughs> some crafting mix by Moraine Paul. And what's interesting about it is like your ribbon thing, you can like hang it and <laughs> almost looks like you can hang it, but also a good bookmark, but it doesn't go like all the way down. So, like, so you do really get like the vintage kind of of the day kind of graphics and examples. So that would be like an invitation kind of thing. So, and then. So, you do get a bit of information, like history, and like you get like information about fire, roaming spirits, you get an Irish legend, hollow moss, you got like sewing, and so you do get quite a bit of information, and then, so you do get kind of like this kind of like how to make these ghosts balloon ghosts and then like parties like it's actually a pretty cool image so it's got like pranks and then so you got a whole lot of like kind of like history with stuff you could do like certain like movies so horror movies dr jekyll mr hyde the whole dark house and these ones are between 1920 and 1954 so making haunted houses how to make them front porch decoration so, pumpkin carving, so, what kind of like the Halloween book doesn't kind of go like go into the typical, here's pumpkin stuff. <laughs> so, and all throughout you do get like early, I want to say early like American Halloween images. And you get like information about like candy and Halloween fair kind of thing. So, you do get a whole lot of like, history and information and random about a whole lot of different things. It's like, not totally in depth kind of, kind of thing. So like apples, like bobbing for apples and nuts, nutshell boats, um, candles, indoor games so shapes and waters um superstitions kind of thing uh chapter five deals with like collectibles so like candy containers and like treat or treat bag trick or treat bags and like making like your own so it does go through like a lot of different things oh and it has like templates for and it does give you some resources and some suppliers, North American and UK. So it's basically craft stores and stuff. So yeah, you do get quite a bit of information, ideas, and so you get like facts, information, you do get inspiration to do your own type of vintage Halloween if you if you want. So yeah, it's a nice little book to have a look at and then you got like the edging is like orange which is like <laughs> 
awesome so you do it's if you want to kind of like recreate a Halloween from the past kind of thing um, take a look at this one so crafting your vintage Halloween happy readings